So I've recently started digging through some of the old uh, ride video that I have on the hard drives uh, and kind of going through it. thought I'd upload some of it and kind of narrate a little bit as, as we went. This is some stuff from Foxford in 2012. So pretty cool rally. It's uh, one that goes on every spring uh, here uh, around PA. It's a little bit uh, north, even northeast of Prince Albert here. And just a great rally. The volunteers do an awesome job. Uh, putting on this uh, event. They've got an awesome trail uh, all planned out. Uh, nice unloading staging area, big uh, bar, beer gardens kind of set up, a pit area there you can race your quad through. Um, hamburgers, uh, lunch, lots of door prizes. Just a really great event. Lots of guys show up and we have a lot of fun at this uh, ride. Now this footage at the start here, this is some stuff that I shot with an old uh, Kodak camera that I had, so I apologize a little bit for the image stabilization, it's a little shaky footage, but this area here, uh, it was actually near the end of the run, and it's a little spot kind of right by the barbed wire fence here, and, and lots of uh, muskeg, um, lots of stuff buried in this little run, uh, logs, things like that, I think the beavers dam it up, and it's a really tricky little area, and a lot of fun to try to get through. Holy, look at that, that ain't good. Baby, must have got some in his airbox, yeah. Do these That hole's not bad, so we went straight there. What's really cool about these uh, rides, these events, is if you're one of the first guys to get through, it's usually fairly easy. It's not rutted up yet. At this point of the day, we're one of the last groups to come through, so this uh, hole's been chewed up pretty good. Makes it quite a challenge, and you know some of the guys they actually like to wait around until uh, after lunch before they take off, just so that uh, they can enjoy the day like this. Now again, the group of guys that I was riding with were all from the Pine Shop. We've got uh, some pretty uh, impressive equipment, uh, really well, uh, well built uh, ATVs built for this type of stuff. And we always try to make sure our winches are uh, right up, up to snuff. We run uh, a lot of 4,500 pound winches. Instead of 35, we run dual batteries on it. And this was an Outlander demo that we set up uh, for this year, and that's uh, exactly why run into an area where we've got some time and we can help a guy out, winch him out, and uh, we just want to make sure we got a really good winch and a really good battery system, so we got lots of reserve and uh, give a guy a hand, and it makes for great video.
So the one thing that makes Foxford unique over the other uh, events is definitely the amount of muskeg that you run into. Just this really heavy, thick, uh, thick stuff that'll get you stuck. This is a hole right at the start of the run. And again, this is with my GoPro on now. So I'm running the Outlander 1000 XT with the 29 and a half inch Outlaws. And this hole didn't look too bad. Went right in the middle, I didn't really have a good run at it. And you can just see how thick the skeg is on the side. And uh, yeah, you're gonna, gonna see here how much uh, winching it took to get me out. I definitely should have been on the throttle more and uh, tried to power through this. Now if you listen carefully, you can hear the belt squeal once in a while uh, on this Outlander. Um, the clutch system that I was running on it was a CV Tech Air Dam with a machine secondary. Actually a really good clutch combo, but the big problem was I was still running the stock BRP belt instead of the heavy duty Zylon one. So if you watch through the video here, you'll notice it uh, squeal or chirp once in a while when I'm running in this heavy muskeg. And like I said, that's where we like to run a little heavier, uh, heavier belt in this type of situation. So it was about another 20, 30 feet and I was stuck again. Um, I think that's the big thing about Foxford. When you first get into it, it gets a little intimidating in, uh, the first couple miles. It's really thick at the start. Um, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna show you basically the whole run here on the GoPro. And you're gonna see as you get going, your technique gets a little better navigating this muskegy, swampy stuff. And it does open up quite a bit into some little high speed runs. So this is definitely a, kind of a, daunting task when you first start into it you think oh what's my day going to be like but it's uh, definitely a challenge and it gets a lot more fun as uh, the day keeps, keeps going Again, it doesn't take long to learn how to uh, pick your way through the muskeg to stay up on top. And here you can see us navigating the trail all over the logs and the and the bush. And again, still getting stuck in the odd hole. Now, I think one of the issues I also had with this Outlander, I had such a big toolbox on the back that day. Um, I wasn't definitely hitting the holes hard enough, and it was a little harder to swing my legs over and get a little momentum. And get uh, turning the machine the, the proper direction. So it does open up a little bit more, um, get a little more momentum, get a little more speed going. The other thing is trying to keep the camera clean, keep the GoPro clean, which is always a challenge on these events, and uh, so you can still see where you're going. Same thing with the goggles, your glasses, you don't want to run into anybody, so you're always stopping and, and making sure things are clean and uh, get some good video when you're done.
This unit that I'm running here, it is a 2012 Outlander 1000 XT, has the 29 and a half inch high lifter outlaws onto it. Um, CVT intake, airbox all snorkeled. At that time we were doing inch and a half on the CVTs on the clutch system. Uh, radiator relocated, one inch spring spacers onto it. And again, this was a muzzy slip on exhaust that I had uh, installed. The other unit you see buzzing by me here is a little bit older Can-Am. I believe it was a 2007, maybe even a 2009. Uh, the Max, the extended chassis. Uh, that's killer riding that unit. And this unit's seen a lot of rallies too. He rode with us quite a bit and it was always awesome when he uh, comes out. He performs and uh, just a great guy to ride with. JD did manage to get the other demo stuck here. So again, this was another uh, Outlander 1000 with all the goodies on it, uh, snorkeled, rad relocated. Uh, pretty cool. This was the one that we put the Renegade rear end on, so the dual HMF performance exhaust and uh, kind of all the the same uh, brackets that we needed. So it was a rear looked the same as a as a Renegade 1000. Made it a little tougher to grab onto something here to help them out, but uh, we do man manage to get this uh, unit free. Just come through the middle. So as long as we're having a good day and we're not running too far behind, we try to help out as many people as we can. Uh, we always come across somebody that's uh, stuck or a little high centered. Uh, this fellow here just maybe needed a little bit more tire, uh, but he was still enjoying his day and it's just all what it's all about. Maybe we'll 
Someone will pull you up here. Yeah. Thought this was a great idea to maybe try to pull them ahead. Uh, that's the other thing about Foxford. You're right in the trees, all the big trees here, and a uh, little tricky to get around and navigate yourself through the trees and get this fellow free. So one thing I also noticed, if you stop to help too many guys, the group kind of gets uh, fed up waiting up on you. So they'll uh, they kind of bugger off. Got to play catch up and uh, try to make up some time and uh, catch up with the uh, with them as quickly as you can. So this is starting on the last half of the extreme trail here and this is where it really opens up. We can get some speed going and uh, have some nice runs here through the water, through the mud and uh, keep your momentum going. Foxford is just a great uh, organized rally. We're really looking forward to hitting this one up come spring again. One of the organizers, he actually works here at the shop with us, so hopefully we can get out and help him cut some trail. I know the trail's a lot wider and it's a lot deeper than what you're seeing here in 2012. And yeah, just had a lot of fun. The Outlander 1000 ran awesome that day. Uh, other than maybe upgrading the belt to uh, the heavy duty belt like I mentioned, but yeah, just a great day out there, lots of guys out there, lots of Can-Ams, lots of ATVs, and uh, had an absolute blast. So guys, let me know what you think of this video. I'm going to keep uh, sourcing out some of this stuff that I have on the hard drive over the last uh, few rides that we've been on, kind of upload it, and uh, yeah, comment on it, let me know what you think of this, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys out at the rides uh, this spring. So again, thank you guys, and stay tuned.
We better hold up for them. If it was you and me, I'd say keep going, but we better hold up for a sec, eh? That wasn't that bad. No, they're not. No, I hit a hit a hole there.